Hey you people, welcome back to my channel. I am Ajita and if you want to know more about me, make sure to check this link above here. I am in Coimbatore now and this daylight my friends is of Coimbatore sunshine. This place is the host here, Mr. Suresh and he has been so kind and so polite in informing me about what all places to visit in Coimbatore when I told him I want to see the cultural parts of the city especially and also the food places that I must try so thank you Mr. Suresh I'm definitely going to try to try them all so yeah so let me show you around this beautiful room that I am staying at and I feel so homely that I slept like a baby last night so BNB ka paida hi hota hai ki you feel like home no matter how far you are from home what a view from the room waking up to sunlight and greens is just perfect this is the bed Super clean. This is a small desk where I worked at night. There is so much light in this room that you don't need a tube light. So that's the place, and let's go to the city now. The plan now is that I'll go have my brunch, but before that, I plan to rent a bike. So I just got my bike and now I am walking to Annapurna restaurant for lunch. Annapurna restaurant has been in existence for last 50 years and is quite famous for South Indian meals. The first point of interest is Maruda Malai Temple which is around 12 km from Coimbatore. I think scooter rental is worth it now. I am at the temple and you can see the entrance behind me. So like any other temple, you have to remove your footwear to enter the temple and it's a quiet place. But if you look behind me right now, you will see the city view. So let's get there. The temple is dedicated to 7th Murugan God and most of the Murugan temples are situated on a hillock. So this is also situated on a small hill. And backdrop of the hills is giving it a very nice appearance. Okay, so I didn't want to eat much after lunch because lunch I was doing it was like crowded. The whole place was crowded and there were not many interactions that were going on in the restaurant. And you sit with random people and you share your table. But the meal was good. <laughs> it was of 110 rupees and it had like five to six varieties of dal, sambar and one dry vegetable which was beans and rice and curd so the food was good but somehow my stomach was spicy food it, I can't adjust it upsets my stomach so yes no more Tamilian food for me Karnataka ka khana was still fine it wasn't very spicy so yes now I uh, rented the bike which costed me around 900 rupees for one and a half days which is quite a lot but given that there are not many options in the city I went ahead with this but local transportation se bhi commute kar sakte hai mujhe dhyan nahi aaya mujhe baad mein dhyan aaya ki oh shit yaar I could have also taken a bus but he can now I have this activa the temple is quite famous but right now there are not many people here and not many ceremonies going on but I have this thing on my forehead which is quite nice so yes, now I'll head back. Coimbatore was a, is a big city, so I did not expect a lot from the city. So it's fine. I just needed small break, and that is going good. After enjoying the pretty views for some time, now I'm headed back home. So, see you when I'm back. Hello, I'm back. Now I'm just going to fall into bed. And I'll see you tomorrow.
Bye. Good morning, guys. It's day two in Coimbatore. So, today's agenda is first of all find out the bus that goes to Munnar because. Uh, I guess there are not many options. When I saw the maps, it was short for us. I thought we would reach 4 hours. But by bus, it takes 6 to 7 hours. And I also have to ask at the bus stand that which bus is going to go to. After that, we'll go to see 112 feet Aditya Yogi Shiva Satchu. Me and Risha Yoga Center. So that's the time for today. And I'll see you at the bus stand. Okay guys, there is no direct bus from Coimbatore to Munnar. Let's see, let's see what happens. So, we have come to Coimbatore. And the drive is going to be really beautiful. In the city, it's a lot of pollution. There is a lot of pollution. So, I've stopped for some coconut head and गर्मी थोड़ी सी थी और भूख भी लग रही थी, so it's good to have keep yourself hydrated. We are in a village now. It's very quiet here. छोटे-छोटे घर हैं and बहुत सारे घूम रही है, बहुत सारे fields हैं. I am almost seven kilometers from the statue and थोड़ा सा थक गई. जब मैं बैठी-बैठी it's entirely in a forested area and that's why I think people come here peace and get out of here. It's a perfect atmosphere. What a magnificent entry. My God, this looks so good. I can't even express in words. It seems like we are he land me again. So nice to see the Shiva statue in real. Oh my God, the Shiva statue. Wow. Dude, you will get a piece of it here. It's so good. The hills are surrounding this place. And it's so open and spacious and so good. Okay guys, this is for real and I still can't believe my eyes. It looks so nice, so magnificent, so big. Oh God. Like, you can spend so much time just staring at it. It has the backdrop of hills. Samne is the statue and uske samne tum khade ho ke usko dekh ho. It, it couldn't get better. Apparently, this is the highest bust statue in the world. And it has been recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records, which is insane. By the way, in the yoga center, the Shivji statue, what is the Shiva statue doing there? So the reason behind is that it is believed that Shiva was the first one to start yoga as a practice. So the center is basically dedicated to Lord Shiva. So yeah, so right now I'm in the parking and going to head back uh, to the city. Good 
morning. So, कल आने के बाद I just dozed off. I didn't have a lot of energy to talk more. Today is my last day in Coimbatore. Actually, I am right now leaving from Munnar. I hope you enjoyed touring Coimbatore with me. It is a big city and it was just a relaxing pit stop break for me. So, I didn't tour a lot of places. But jitna bhi ghume hai, I hope you liked it. If you did, do tell in comments and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in Munar. Until then, bye.